it's Diane from So Charming Quilts, and I want to introduce you to our May quilt. This is the 2022 calendar quilt for May. It is called Soundwave. It is designed by Arika Wilson. And last time in our video, I showed you our color pull. This time we are using the Kona Cottons, um, primarily the grays and the blacks. So we cut um, iron, titanium, graphite, Gotham gray, pepper, black, and then of course Kona white. I made all my cuts and I took some time to sew my strip sets. So I wanted to show you, this is one of my strip sets. This is the first strip set. And I found that it was easiest if I work strip, by, strip set by strip set. So I looked at my directions and I gathered the correct rectangles and I sewed them together. Now, I'm normally a press seams to one side, one side kind of gal, but this time, because I was sewing such narrow strips, I actually pressed all of my seams open. I think that will help this lay flat. It'll keep my seams nice and straight. So today, I'm actually ready to trim. And I just wanted to show you, so I have all of my strip sets or my units assembled. Here's the second unit. I have my third unit, my fourth unit, and so on. There's seven different units in our um, quilt construction. Here's the seventh unit. And again, like I said, I pressed all of my seams open so that it would lay nice and flat, and then I can cut all of these. So now I'm ready to cut, and my first unit asks me to cut my unit into eight inch and a half by 25 and a half inch rows. So the first thing I'm going to do is because when I sewed this, not everything quite lined up, I'm going to straighten it. I do want to give you a hint on sewing. So when I sewed my first piece, so my inch and a half to my white, I sewed down the strip one way. When I added my second piece, I started at the bottom and I sewed up so that all my seams were alternating so it didn't pull or stretch my fabric. So that's just a quick tip or trick. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually, let's, I'm going to fold this in half because my ruler's not, my ruler's only 24 inches long and my strip set is actually 25 inches long. So I'm going to take and fold this in half so that I can get a nice straight cut. I'm going to use my fold line at the top. I'm going to line that edge up and the first thing I'm going to do is square my piece. I want to start with a nice straight edge. And then it asks me to cut eight inch and a half pieces. So, this over a little bit. Again, I'm going to use that top fold. I'm going to line everything up nice and straight. And I'm going to cut eight units. So, here we go. Just one. Seven, and eight. So now I have my eight pieces. So I'm going to cut. I 
have my eight pieces for my assembly. So then I'm going to go through and then I will take, I will probably take a clip and I'll just clip these all together so that I know that these were all unit ones and I'll label it. I'll go back in the back and label it. I'm going to clip these together. I'll label it as unit one so that when I actually go to assemble my quilt, it tells me how to assemble it. So I'll just be able to quickly grab um, each of the pieces for my now my bigger units. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll start with, here's my second one. Again, I'll fold it in half. I'll square it. I'll trim off how many ever that I need. Let's see what the second one says. I'll be trimming um, 12 units, and each time that you sew together your rows, it tells you in your pattern how many that you're going to cut for each of, each of these. So I hope that you'll join us. If you've been following along on YouTube, we always try and give tips and tricks for each of our quilts. Again, this is our May quilt. It is called Soundwave, and I hope you'll join us. We'll have patterns available on the website to download, and we'll have kits available in the studio. Thanks.